In our previous post, we mentioned that writing is an important part of language learning because it allows you to produce material at a very slow pace, which is often ideal for learning. But it can be difficult sometimes to find things to write about. It's best to avoid thinking too much. The topic doesn't matter much and writing about anything will practice your language skills. Find topics that you're passionate about and write a little every day. It doesn't have to be particularly interesting for the reader. Remember that you are not writing to entertain others. You're writing to learn. The distinction is important. Make sure the time you spend writing fits nicely in your schedule and that you enjoy doing it. Otherwise, it will be difficult to keep it up in the long run. In this post, we will give you ideas of things to write about for language learning. Daily goals Every day you can wake up and write five things you want to achieve on that day. These things don't necessarily need to be related to language learning. Making daily goals for yourself can be beneficial even if you aren't learning languages. It can help you to accomplish things and can even increase your self-confidence. If you write your daily goals in your target language, it will help you learn languages as a bonus. Simply write down small things you need to do. Mow the lawn, pay your phone bill, read 20 pages in your new book, complete two Wino lessons. Oh, and uh, don't forget to feed your pet orangutan. Throughout the day, read those goals a few times to make sure you complete them all. Just by doing this, you will start accomplishing a lot more and you'll learn a few words every day. Google Searches Now, we often have several questions every day for our beloved friend, Google. Some of them are important and some of them, you know, not so much. But the next time you're wondering why the sky is blue or what illness you have based on that strange-looking wart you have on your left big toe, ugh. Search for your question in your target language. Look up the words that you don't know in order to form your question. Asking questions is a crucial part of every language. Making your Google searches in your new language is an excellent way to practice your question-asking skills. Daily Summaries At the end of each day, write a short paragraph to describe what happened during that day. It doesn't have to be anything exciting, and you don't need to describe everything in detail. Simply describe a few things that happened and how you felt. Go ahead, pour your heart out. This only takes a few minutes each day and it's easy to implement in your routine. Alternatively, you can write a paragraph on a single event that happened during that day. Perhaps something funny or out of the ordinary. Anything that comes to mind. Shopping list. You most likely make lists before you go out shopping right? Whether it is for groceries, household items, or home improvement supplies, making shopping lists is already part of our routine. Why not write your list in your target language? This gives you the opportunity to learn vocabulary words such as avocado, deodorant, or fidget spinner. Nice! Note to self. If you ever write short reminders for yourself, whether on a sticky note or in your phone, Try to write it in your target language. Every little note you write can teach you a few words. Writing lots of reminders can also help you clear your head of all the things you need to do, thereby reducing stress. You can also change the language that you use to write on your calendar. Instead of writing dentist appointment, why not write it in your new language? All these little daily changes really do add up. Short stories. Writing doesn't always have to be practical. It's nice to just let your imagination go wild and create a little world of your own. You can write a short story about, well, anything. It doesn't have to be well-written or particularly creative. Just let the words flow. Create your own characters and develop their stories. Or you can also write about existing characters from existing books and write a spin-off short story. Synopsis If you're having a hard time writing your own creative story, you can also write a brief summary of a movie or a television episode that you just saw. This should make it very easy to find something to write about when you're having writer's block. Dreams Now, if you're more of a morning person, it can be interesting to write your dreams as soon as you wake up. Don't try to analyze your dreams too much or try to be too fancy. Scribble down a few reminders about your dream before you forget it. You can then take your time and think about it in more detail while you take your morning coffee. Dreams are often very strange, but writing about them can be a captivating experience and an excellent way to practice writing in your new language. As you can see, you can write just about anything. The idea is to write in your new language as much as possible on a daily basis and get used to formulating sentences on your own. 
These are simply eight ideas of things that you can write about. But you can be creative and write about anything that interests you. If you have any other writing ideas, please leave it in the comments to help others. Happy writing! If you liked our video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. For more language learning, check out our website at wino.com. That's O-U-I-N-O dot com. Thanks a lot! Until next time!